of delay. I'm Eric Allen. And I'm Joe Drilling. Joe Drilling's here. Hi, Joe. Hi, Eric. What's going on, man? Uh, not much. Not much. We're going to shoot some trouble. Or have some trouble shooting, as is usual uh, when I play shooters. Yeah. yeah. We'll give it a shot, though. Let's see what the options say. Ha! 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 Hard, easy. All right, shot. I'll start on normal, but I'll, I have a feeling that a I'll shot. have to change it to, to easy before we're all done here. I didn't. also didn't have time to look up codes. You can see the Japanese box yeah. art below my face. It's pretty dope. Or, that is the Japanese box art. I also have the uh, the American box art right here. Oh, it's much bigger than the Japanese box art. You can't really see it. It's 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 it looks like uh, the box art to like a one of the Trancers movie, like maybe a. It's extremely eighties. An but unlicensed that, that... Trancers sequel starring. Um, <laughs> oh, what, who was the? What was the? I forget what the woman was. It was somebody that was uh, Helen Hunt. famous? Yeah, right. It was Helen Hunt. So. Um, this isn't good. Like, there's a lot of really great '80s and '90s box art for things that where the paintings are just like the paintings are better than you know what's in the game or on the movie. You know, yeah. uh, this is not one of them. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna switch back <laughs> to the Japanese one, which that's a good idea. Looks like the Japanese one kind of looks like uh, it kind of looks like bad fan art from the early 2000s, <laughs> uh, like something you would have found on Deviant Art, but it's a little flat. Like there's not much shading going on. But anyway, um, Troubleshooter. I don't know anything about this game. What's up with Troubleshooter? Uh, so this was actually suggested by well, so a viewer suggested Troubleshooter Two, which never came out in the U.S. Well, I've heard nothing be but good to... things about you. I must admit, I didn't expect a teenage girl. Are you sure you know what you're doing? If only, I only had a dollar for every time I've heard that. I'm sorry, but surely you understand the delicate nature of this situation. I don't know what you think what the situation might be. I like that the guy looks like uh, Harvey Birdman's boss. <laughs> Mustache and an eye patch. Yep. And yep. extremely, and an almost patch. unhealthily well-defined uh, well, uh, cheekbones. Yep. Uh, so this game was released in uh, 1991. And it is uh, developed by Vic Tokai. The job is a woman. Uh -huh. The satellite <laughs> uh, tracer report shows activity due north. Vic Tokai was, like, if you're familiar with them at all, it is likely Vic is that... short for Victor. Right. Uh, and Tokai Vic is Tokai. short for Tokai, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It's Kurt Adam, ladies and gentlemen, is with us as well. We'd be absent to mention that. Um, Vic Tokai is known for like I know them mostly from Clash at Demon Head because that game rules. Clash at Demon Head is uh, super fun. Yeah, um, they also did Kid Cool and Psycho Fox on the Master System and Decap Attack on the Genesis, all of which are kind of the same game. <laughs> like those are variations on a theme. <laughs> they play very very similarly to each you know, other. One of those I'm remotely familiar with is Decap Attack. So, do they all yeah, feature? They're... Guy that has his head get knocked off when he takes nope. damage. Okay. Nope. Well, then they're not all the same. They're not exactly the same, but the gameplay style is like very, okay. very similar. But only one features Chuck D Head. <laughs> Which one <laughs> is that? This the uh, decap attack. This, the woman Weird. explaining things to me has this like slack jawed, wide eyed expression that I'm not entirely comfortable with. She kind of looks like a real doll, and it's creeping me out. No, that's. I don't High think power it's fields realistic electricity. enough, it's just a blow up. That spread <laughs> outward at random across the screen. Am I supposed to be able to. Uh, okay, here we go. Does that say hashtag lightning storm at the top? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Early Twitter, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> this game predicted it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, this Powerful game was a vertical laser beam that scrolls sideways. Was, circular was... fields of electromagnetic activity that swirl outward. A concentrated wall of plas plas path clearing missiles. All right, what do we? What should I pick? Lightning storm, tidal wave, blizzard, avalanche. Well, John Tenta was the avalanche, so okay. I think you should right. choose the in avalanche. honor of in John honor Tenta. Of John Tenta, who is not a shark, he's a man. It's true. He is an and avalanche. And an avalanche. <laughs> yes, and an earthquake. <laughs> um, yeah. So this game uh, was was reasonably well regarded at the time apparently GamePro gave it a perfect score 
Uh, okay. Sega Pro gave it a 73%, calling it a rehash of Forgotten Worlds without all the great power-ups, according to Wikipedia. Okay, I mean, I liked Forgotten Worlds quite a bit. So apparently yeah, I have cool. a permanent buddy with me. I guess, is that the blue-haired girl yeah. from the thing? Yeah. Is she wearing yeah. a helmet? I'm not really sure. I think she just has, like, a, a neck protector or something. She's got to protect her neck. <laughs> yeah, she's the Method Man. <laughs> yeah. <His> daughter? Um, <laughs> um, yeah. I guess it's some kind of antenna. If you look at the box art, you can see that she's wearing that there as yeah. well. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, why oh, why do those birds... <laughs> you get hit and she says ouch, which I really like. There are birds with heli with like helicopter props uh, on them, and that seems weird. That a bird would need a propeller. Whoa, what the, f what the fuck is happening in here? I guess I'm killing those things. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I have a special, and then I just used it. Probably should not have. I see it charges as I uh, do stuff. Um, oh, now I can fly. Weapon. Up. I like that she yells weapon when you, when you mm -hmm. use the special. Um, this game seems to have a decidedly tongue-in-cheek style about it. And I think, I don't remember if it's this game or the sequel, but apparently there's some code to make a topless woman appear. Great. But I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's in the U.S. version. I think they might have taken it out. Okay, let's try... Let's try something different. Let's try Blizzard this time. Let's get busy. <laughs> there is a state select sheet. Is there? Yeah. Do I have to plug in a second controller to do it? Yeah. Okay, it probably won't work then. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only cheat that is... The only thing that is listed on Game Packs is that. Okay. I've had mixed results with uh, second controller uh, cheats right. for yeah. this emulator, which by mixed results, I mean it has never worked once. So <laughs> yeah, Those seem very consistent results. Yeah, they, yeah. Are, they are very, very those consistent. aren't mixed at all. Yeah. Um, I like that they drive, like, I don't know, is that, that, looks, like a, that looks like a Nash, you know. Um, a Nash Rambler? Yeah, or a Healy, or so. I mean, it looks like a Nash of so. Nash made really small, sort of uh, economic cars, it's but like a lot song. of them, I guess, are. Yeah, I guess a lot of them are pretty rare now and sort of sought after vehicles. Could be a Nash Metropolitan. Uh, well, a Healy was what Clark Kent drove on the '50s Superman show, if memory serves. Okay, so that dust locks me in place. If I hit the C button, my helper will flip around and shoot backwards. Um. That heart. Assembled in Warwick, England, Turin, Italy, and Kenosha, Wisconsin, USA. The Nash Healy was. Nice. Oh no, I don't want to use my weapon. Oh god damn it. Oh, you're using it. Yeah, I pushed the wrong button. Ouch. Okay, I see I have pellets up in the top right that tell me what my health is. Their car does. I mean, as much as a, as much as a video game car can, you know, from this era can really look like a real car. Their car does look quite a bit like a '51 Nash Healy Roadster. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at Might pictures, be. so I don't know. Um, that's a very maybe that's, that's the car that Vic himself drove. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's Vic a car that Tokyo two drove. anime girls with giant guns would drive. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Seems like they would want a little more trunk space, actually. Well, all guns. their guns Whoa. are like hanging out the side of the door when you when you pull up at the beginning. So. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Says this weird elongated <laughs> juggernaut. It's like he ate one of the weird mushrooms from Mario Maker. <laughs> yeah, that uh, and he blows like kisses that. to the yeah, adoring crowd. Good. I mean, I'm hammering on him, but he's not doing anything. I guess that's it. I guess that was supposed to be like a joke. Why signal <laughs> says, is this not dirty pair? Question mark, question mark. Uh, juggernaut with eyelashes. <laughs> juggernaut with eyelashes. I don't and dirty pair they didn't fly though. I also they had can short you, they had short like eighties hair. Can you even call that a juggernaut? juggernaut? He went down like a bitch. Oh, no, he's coming back now. <laughs> he's I need to back. pause for a second, but he's coming uh, back. See. You're all charged up. Oh no, I don't use weapon. God damn it. <laughs> I like how Kurt said it, and then you did it. Oh, wow. Okay. Weapon. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, shit. This thing looks like like a failed Dr. Wily experiment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
You mean all of just a Dr. Wiley? All of them. Yeah. yeah all, all Dr. Of them Wiley's had as much success with his experiments as I have had entering with codes the with the second controller, controller and <laughs> fusion. <clears throat> Maybe they were made by uh, Dr. Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's buried deep within it's the, the, emu- the emulator by Dr. Wiley. Hey, I beat a stage. Nice shooting. Good. Completion bonus, weapon bonus, energy bonus. Prepare for more trouble. And then shoot it. Anime Isn't it a little on the nose to call it a troubleshooter. <laughs> yes, the Japanese title is Battle Mania. So awesome. That's that's actually a pretty good title. Unless my demands are met. The only place the prince is heading is the morgue. And unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you beat it. There's an anime lady butt. <laughs> <laughs> the weapon currently selected is high-powered fields of electricity that spread outward at random across the map. Okay, these are... All right, let's try a different one this time. Let's see if I can... I'll pick a different weapon to waste every time I get it fully charged. D- uh, let's try. We'll try the tidal wave. Okay, now let's get busy. I like there's crates of just Sega in our warehouse. That's like uh, Acme. <laughs> <laughs> I got an arrow. I don't know what all these power ups do either. <clears throat> ah. No, it's kind of turned into a Battletoads level. <laughs> Only the penitent man shall pass. <laughs> <laughs> the penitent man is humble before God. There are giant saw blades and weird skulls. <laughs> As opposed to normal, like, flying skulls? I, I gotta turn this music up a little bit. I can't hear that's, it too loud. That's the robot of a carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> This one is too, like, I could hear the first level music okay, but this one's very bassy. It's just all drones. <laughs> you guys aren't far off. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but... <laughs> no, I turn off the audio so I can, so there's not an echo. Yeah. Ah! I do appreciate the audio feedback when you take a hit. Is yeah. it that sort of classic Genesis, like, you know? Yeah. Kind of noise when you take yeah, it. Give me that F. Ouch. Damn it. Ah. Give me that F. F you, buddy. I don't. There's a little bit too much background noise. I'm having a hard time picking out the fire jets. Also, this is a this is a bat. I think wearing two pairs of sunglasses. I think it's Darth Vader wearing a. Or maybe it's Batman. I don't know, it just looks like a bat to me. Ouch. Ah, damn it. Turn around, dummy. I have no idea how you're supposed to know. How you're supposed to be able to track the flame shots and the dude flying around. I I can't. I'm just getting hit by the flames. (laughs) Yeah, that's... This is me giving you a pass on that. Just being like, that seems impossible. I mean, it's just like any other one of these types of games where you just have to play it a shitload and then you just right. fucking memorize it. There's probably There probably was some kind of pattern to it, but I was too busy focused on... Uh, your your ultimate is ready, Eric. Yeah, I, thanks, Joe. You're fully charged. <laughs> You're just trying to get me to hit the button? <laughs> That's the, you haven't seen I mean, I do want to see... I, want, I mean, I want to see what That's this one is. So. Whoa, did I just die instantly? Because I... Oh, fuck. Did you get squished? Yeah, I got squished. squished. I lost, I, I oh, lost yep. all my health. Damn. Yep. I like how they fall. <laughs> Upside uh, down. Yeah. I got crushed between these two things, but there's still room for my dead body Let's to get fall. busy. Alright, I'll not I'll use my ult on the... Uh... The bat bang? Yeah. It looks like... I do like that he was wearing two pairs of sunglasses. It looks like those power-ups mostly just charge my uh, charge shot up. Although I think that was also how I get this weird little option thing. Damn it. Yeah. Is the, oh option, the option has a different shot every time you change that weapon, right? Does it? Seems like. Maybe. maybe. Maybe not like super different, but like kind of different. Uh, I really need to see Tidal Wave. 
<laughs> Zero credits remaining. Yeah. I mean, these games are hard, and I'm not great at them, so it's right. It's hard for much. me to. Uh... All right. I, so now it's shooting a little be blue ball. I'm not, uh, now it's shooting not a slightly a bigger blue orb. Yep. But I don't know if that's just because I collected two, or if it's a different type of shot. Oh I yeah, got a different letter on it. Now I can, so I can, I so if I pick up health drops, I my health goes up above its normal maximum, which is kind of good. Yeah, that's that's hunky dory. No, that's David Bowie. Yeah, that's true. Not my favorite Bowie record. Oh. By the way, but I mean, not a bad your, record. What is your favorite David Bowie record? Oh man, for a long time it was the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, but I solid, pretty uh, solid. I, like I really like Aladdin Sane to like that era of Bowie. I like a lot. Um, I wish so. I could turn both of them to face backwards sometimes. <laughs> right, I, I like you can turn them both to face one way, but not the other. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I mean, it's still one of those, probably. Um, but I also really like his, um, his right. 90s output. Ready? Like, the stuff he did with Trent Reznor and Oh, whatnot. fuck off. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, it's like a beam in front of me. Oh, wow. Fucking wasted Batman, though. He wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> yeah, he was not ready for, for It's like a laser buzzsaw. Yeah, that was pretty good. I gotta get underneath these beams. Why signal says I like the song used in Lost Highway. Yeah, I'm deranged. deranged. Question mark. Yes. Uh, yes. And there's a reprise of uh, ah. I'm Deranged. There's two versions of it on that soundtrack. That soundtrack's fucking great, man. For what? Really good. The soundtrack to the Lost Highway. Okay. Sure. Um, that uh -huh. my favorite Smashing Pumpkin song is on that soundtrack. In fact. Which is. It's called I. God damn it. All right, I'm going to try that stage select code, uh, and then when that fails to work, I'll, uh, I'll give this game a thumbs up and give up since I've used up all of my continues. I guess I could put it on easy. I don't know if easy makes the game easier or if it just gives me more hearts. But um, So do you have that code yep. handy, Kurt? Okay. Yep. And I need to have Tell a second controller, ready. he said. Yeah. That's what it claims. Okay, hang on one second. Controllers, port two, keyboard, define, up, down, left, right, A, B, C, start, X, Y, Z, mode. Okay, all right, what do I need to do? Uh, right and C and start all at the same time while on the start option screen. Right, C, and start on the option screen. On the start and option screen. And then an icon will appear between the words in the title. Okay, options. What was it? Right? Right, C, and start. Uh, I think they're talking about the first screen there with both start and option. Oh, okay. It. Which is why I said start and option. Oh, okay. I thought you said I thought you meant the, <laughs> the actual option screen. I didn't know what the screens looked like, so I was just reading exactly what it said. So I apologize. The topless lady Easter egg I was thinking of is from a game called Rings of Power, which is like the first Naughty Dog game. It's a Genesis game. Mm -hmm. um, there's a way to make a topless woman appear before the title screen. With this like silly code. The one in this game is actually I, I um, is in the American version, um, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, so right, let's try. We'll try you, easy real quick, and then I also yeah, the, little, I'll, I'll try that last alt out, and then a super def, like a super deformed chibi version of the blonde girl will stomp on a super Famicom if you put in a, <laughs> a, a code before the game boots up. So, no, there's a bunch of rocket that was the stuff Easter egg I was in the card. Of. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's fuck off, fish. <laughs> I 
I like that those robot fish turn into like terminators with spikes on their heads. Yeah. You so is this um shell. was this just a Genesis game or is this like a port of it was. game? Okay. It was. It was. I thought it might have Forgotten been a port Worlds of game, kind of but... felt like a like a, a like an A you know, like an A grade port, but it was still kind of felt like a port where this feels a lot more like a thing that was made with the Genesis in mind. Right. Just like the proportions of the characters and uh, like a lot of the way that the the screen is yeah, I mean that port that port of Forgotten Worlds is probably, you know, arguably the best port. Um, there's probably people who would hold out for the PC Engine version. Yeah. No, that um, game was really good. I'm just saying that this this feels much more natural to me than like that game felt it yeah. felt like a like a really good port. All right. Well that game used a rotary dial in the arcade to, yeah. to aim your gun. And yeah. they changed it to a using A and C to you know turn your guy, turn your kick is, guy around. Yeah, yeah. Um, which this does kind of have a little bit of that since you can turn one of your right. But you don't have to worry you can turn about crystal like, around aiming about Cassidy. <laughs> right, um, and you don't have to worry about aiming, you know, more than just left or right. Right, it's right. more like sidearms in that way, and not like uh, Forgotten Worlds. Um, Forgotten Worlds on the, the so if you get the Capcom Classics Collection on the PS2. Um, you can just use the right analog stick to aim your guy, which mm -hmm. is maybe like a slightly better experience. Um, because that's just an emulation of the arcade game. So. This is much easier. Is it? Is it easy? <laughs> yeah. easy is easier? Easy is much easier. I have Weird. more health and I feel like there's less enemies. And... Right, we really don't need to do this whole Don Flamenco dance thing here. <laughs> Although I do I appreciate... I can hear the audio. Does it go... Murk, murk, murk? It does. It goes... Murk. Ah. Oh. Does that robot have a dick and I didn't notice it before? Uh, I mean, kind of. <laughs> it's a robot cop piece. That's where his battery is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or his uh, control rods. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's a robot so dick. So yes, it has a dick. Is it a Roman robot dick, though, is the question. Alright, let's use this weapon. Okay. You should turn around the other one so that you can shoot both in the back. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to... Just I wish. She, I kind of wish that she turned a little bit faster, but other than that... Um, pretty good. Which yeah. weapon was that? That was the lightning... Hashtag lightning uh, one. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> Boop, boop, boop. I like that the model for the woman who waves you into the thing is like totally different than the style yeah. of the two playable yeah, characters. When she first showed up, I'm like, that's weird. Yeah, well, the same thing goes for this knife thrower, uh, Anna, here in this next cutscene. Yeah. Uh, so, which, is there any of these that I haven't done? Tidal wave was the laser, blizzard was the circular cloud. I thought the avalanche was the circular. Or did you not get a chance to use? I think I did. I avalanche. think I, avalanche was the one I accidentally used a bunch of times. In the oh, first yeah, one. right, right. Okay. Um, I'll go back to that one. Although so, I feel yes, like I should have picked the, the I should have picked the buzzsaw probably. But I don't know what the, the. Okay, I think the down arrow moves your like slows your move speed a little bit. Which is probably a mistake taking both of those. I wonder what she says when I pick up a health pickup too. Lucky maybe? Thank you? I don't know, I can't tell if it's in English or in Japanese. I can't hear the audio unfortunately, so... Otherwise I'll hear an echo of me talking and that's not... Um, let's see if I can finish this stage, and then we'll call it a night here. Ouch. Sounds good. But yeah, it's really hard for me to see those sprayers. It looks for such a, a sort of relatively early Genesis game. Uh, the the background layers look really... I know you said they're kind of busy and kind of hide the... In this one the, they are, yeah. Stuff, but, they look but nice. They look really good. Yeah, yeah. they're like pulsing purple to pink, and the... Uh, yeah. There's yeah. like what three parallax layers, or I guess there's four, right? Because there's like the stuff you can 
interact with and then three layers behind that. Yep. Yeah. Um, but there's no foreground stuff, so it's not totally. I believe bullshit. the Genesis can. Oh, this is the one of the missiles. I'm looking, but it doesn't appear that there is. There's no, like, tell when the lasers are gonna shoot, but um, there might be a pattern to it that I'm not picking up on. I'm not 100% sure. I also like really like that the one woman is wearing uh, knee pads, because <laughs> this is a dangerous mission after all. You might want to scrape up your knees. She just she just skitched over here from yeah. the from the mission loadout. <laughs> Hot pants and knee pads. <laughs> I don't want to tell anybody how to dress, but that just seems. Put some pants on, you know. Ouch. She needs to move. She needs God damn, dude. Flexibility. And I can't get those health pickups because I, uh... Oh no. It's a weird ball. Oh no, it's a bunch of weird balls. I guess it's just two weird balls. I'll wait till they're on the other side of the screen. There we go. Do it. I think she says Wu Tang when you uh, shoot the thing, but there's not enough, probably not enough uh, memory space for a digital ain't nothing to fuck with. Um. Seems like one of them should say Wu Tang, <laughs> and the other one should say ain't nothing to fuck with. Oh no, I should have. Oh, I have charged anyway. Heads up! Heads up! Whoa! Oh, what the it's fuck? One of the hard hat guys from Mega Man like landed on a giant robot body. Yeah, he evolved. <laughs> it's a robot Holy that's shit. under construction. <laughs> Do these lasers ever go away? Okay, there we go. <laughs> no, it's like Tron. Yeah, yeah I was, I was, I was say, pretty much. Like I was kind of fucked right there. I'm also not entirely. I guess I have to shoot his arms. That's his weak point. Seems that way. Yep. Weapon. I actually can't shoot through those either. Oh fuck! Oh, now we're separated. Oh, and then I died. All right, that's enough of that. I don't, unless I start back at the boss, but I don't think that doesn't seem very likely. I'll probably have to play the whole stage over again. Yeah. Well then. All right, that's shooter trouble. I got into some trouble. <laughs> Shot some shooter. stuff. Trouble shooter. Yeah. Um. Uh is it Genesis or Genesis isn't worth checking out? That's good. I, yeah, I liked it. And like I said, it feels a little bit more natural than Forgotten Worlds, although it's um, a little bit more standard since you can only shoot in two directions and it doesn't have the weird multi directional stuff. That took me, that did take me a while to get used to with that game. This game, like I said, it just feels like something that was built for a console. So it's good. If you like sexy anime butts and shooting things, <laughs> and also I mean, weird. Who doesn't really? I mean. Seriously. Weird slack jawed real doll expressions. I guess, is that the woman that like that's ushers you partner, to the next stage? Or is that. No, I don't think that's your. Not your partner. If you look at the box art, your partner has like weird. I don't know. Maybe it is. Anyway. Uh, that's Troubleshooter. It's pretty good. I like it. Cool. Well, we'll be back next week with more Genesis or Genesis. I wish I could see more of the weird stages. Uh, I like the like the lightly wacky sense of humor that it has going for it. So, yeah. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.